baby, baby. It's the sugar receiver coming at you with another video. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell somebody else because we're a lady over here. Y'all, I'm looking through. My hair needs to be relaxed. Yes, I relaxed my hair. I've tried. Um, what? I was natural um, in my early years. You know, your girl's 30. But I was natural um, for like two years. Like, two years and some change i mean i might post up here like some of my pictures girl i used to wear my hair in the little um twist and stuff y'all i was looking real cute but my hair started falling out this was before all the medication so i know if i tried to go natural again with all these medications your girl's going to be bald and i'm really thinking about shaving my hair but my face too fat and my head's too big and i be feeling on my head and i know i got that you know how some men when they be bald they got that lump lump back there i know i got that and i don't want to have a milk dud head so anyway um i'm out today what's today's day i don't know y'all my days run together but um checking making sure my phone recording y'all i'm just looking real crazy i had to come outside and get some bubble tea i don't know who brought it over here because it's just like for real for it seems like pop-up shops just start popping up like within like this past year or two and y'all boba tea got a hold on me i've tried the taro taro it's t-a-r-o i think that's like the sweet potato one i wasn't too much of a fan but i'm going to this other place um and they got like brown sugar boba i'm gonna take y'all with me right now i am going into dollar tree because i need to pick up a few things my brother's birthday is going to be soon and there ain't no shame in my game i go to dollar tree to get cards and uh Oh, I go to Dollar Tree to get cards and birthday bags. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm looking a little through y'all. My allergies have been messing with me. Put my mask on. Wear my mask. So I'm just recording a little bit in Dollar Tree. See what they got being nosy while I'm getting. Because I only came here for two things. Maybe three. I might see a little snack. And you probably said, well, you about to get bubble tea. Mind your business don't judge me um so yeah i might find a little something i always look through their uh nail section or whatever and um i come to the dollar tree that's a little nicer because dollar trees by my house it be pallets everywhere like and when i mean pallets it's like well i used to work at walmart but if you know it's like pallets is the big pallets with stuff on top of it that needs to go out on the floor but it hasn't been even touched so where i be living at they be having pallets everywhere stuff be on the floor everywhere just be looking dingy and i'm just like I'm gonna go where it's a little nicer, a little nicer, where there's they don't play that pallet stuff, and they have more of a, a selection. And y'all, I'm looking through, and I don't care. I threw some on, and did, and did, and y'all, this is my little purse I'm carrying today. Y'all matching brands. I got on this Gucci hat with this Louis Vuitton bag, and I decided to. Can you, can you see it? It's my multicolored Louis Vuitton bag with a little pouch thing i guess maybe i should turn off my car <laughs> that would be great let me cover up my ham hanks ham shanks that's what my who be calling me that that's what my mom be saying or my nana they be like ham shanks like yeah clearly yeah but my hair is looking crazy i need to relax her oh, people walking around and then there's a target behind me i'm not going into target today y'all because every time i go into target i go to their um their makeup and perfume i don't need none of that because i'm always picking up lip gloss i don't need no lip gloss now y'all y'all might hear me i might be a little muffled or i might just record the walkthrough silent um i might play some background music or something you know relax your mind let your country be free and now i can with the anyway but i don't know if i'm gonna talk or not but here we go i'll see y'all next <laughs> okay the halloween stuff is out This is so cute. Hand soap. I want this. Oh, these cups are so cute. Let me make sure. Here we go.
Mind you, my brother turned 27. Smile, you make me smile. You warm my heart. That's cute. Put that one back. And I need a birthday bag and some stuff on paper, tissue paper. Arts and crafts stuff, <laughs> stickers, <laughs> yeah, fully stocked cleaning supplies, ouch, I'm running into stuff, so I got what I needed. I need two of these. Mm. Oh, it's... Here's the... What is this? Gives you volume? Uh-uh, that would like to bump it. Oh yeah, happy girl here looking like Snooky from uh Jersey Shore. I don't want her to be that much volumized. Can I get a fist pump, please? Um, I got lip stuff. I don't need no more lip stuff. Gloves. What else? I don't really need anything. I'm still salty at their dollar twenty-five. Probably cheap, but I liked it better when it was a dollar. What is their beauty? Apartment. It was. Lip balm. 
Um, I don't see no China Glaze um, polish. Oh, yes, I did. It's right here. I already got that kind. Y'all, they really got a lot, depending on what you're looking for. Them book bags. Um, what else? Yeah, phone cases. some pork rinds so bad. Not gonna do it. Now I hope there's some good footage. Hope it's not too fast. Cookies, oh, hard. Oh, lemon cookies. So good. Um, I don't need a card. Wrapping tissue. We got gum. Nice comments. Uh, soft mints. Get the food packs. Um, what else? I'm trying to see what else I need. These are cute little cups. I think I have like Halloween cups. I need some clean ups. This is good for dis disinfecting like your fabrics, your sheets and stuff. What? Let me find out. You know, I think I was still over here in the baby section.
wedding, crackers, flower dressing. Hello. I'm pretty good in yourself. That's good. All this stuff is so cute, y'all. Alright, y'all. I'm going to finish getting the little stuff I need real quick. And I'll see you guys when I come back. Definitely coming back. Alright, I'm going to try to record. As y'all can see, it's raining cats and dogs. Um, but this place I'm going to is called Milk and Tea. Um, so I'm going to try because I'm not trying to get my phone wet. My phone is not waterproof. And, um, yeah. Let go. Alright, y'all. So this is the boba place. And these are the options. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I'm going to try this. And this. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on, I'm sure. Let's see. I don't know, y'all. I'll see y'all in the car when I pick one. So, y'all, I really cannot record because it is raining cats and dogs out here. But, y'all, um, I got this thing. This thing, the thing. It's this, it's a, what is it, a bubble cake? A bubble waffle. So y'all, we gonna try this. Say my grace, it's this. And then they put condensed milk on it. Can you see the drizzle? It tastes good. Honestly, it tastes like a waffle to me. And once again, let me make sure I'm gonna fool them on them. This is called milk and tea. You see it? It's out in Parma if you're in Ohio. Definitely worth it. As y'all can see, the prices are definitely very, very affordable. Um, their sizes is what they come in medium and large. You can add um, different type of boba. Um, different type of boba at the bottom this is good and it's drizzled in condensed milk you know usually condensed milk that's what you cook with yeah and y'all got me two drinks one now one for later or one for today one for tomorrow um basically i got a matcha, y'all. Obsessed with matcha. Every time I go to um, Starbucks, I get a matcha. I get a matcha with two pumps of vanilla, four pumps of brown sugar, or sometimes I just get a plain matcha. And I love matcha. Um, I be making them at home, but most of the time I just be buying them. And then I got the brown sugar one. And at this place, because I've been to other boba places, and they just give you the boba. At this place, they ask you like, what's your sugar level? Ooh sweet and you can get to like what is it 25 50 75 100 percent i know i shouldn't be eating this because your girl's diabetic but i don't need nobody judging me i said i said so what level would you you know recommend for a diabetic because <laughs> i don't like myself too sugary like even though i shouldn't be eating this i only treat myself you know every once in a while because you know boba even if you're healthy that's not something that you want to just pick out on because those uh tapioca pearl bead things that's nothing but like starch and stuff so you know just indulging in starch that's not gonna do nothing but blow you up make you bigger so it's just a little treat i have you know here and there when i want to you know taste a, you know some boba milk tea and they even got the choice you can get milk tea what is it latte with no caffeine 
or you can get the you know the fruity drinks and stuff with the dragon fruit and all that stuff like that y'all see the menu um did a quick little show but y'all i'm liking this place and they're open monday through sunday my other place i go to they're only open monday through saturday so it's just like if it's sunday you want some boba you like where's the boba but yes y'all um just call my granny checking on her she at my house chilling i'm like granny you need anything or nana do you need anything she like how you been to dollar tree yes nana i've been to dollar tree but what you need well can you give me this this and that say okay girl i'll go back just for you and just for you so yeah i'm about to head back to dollar tree but i'm not going to record that because i'm just running in and running out she just needs two things and then what am i doing after that because my grandma cooked she cooked what she cooked Dang, I just got the phone and forgot that quick. What was it? Stuffed green bell peppers, cabbage, macaroni and cheese. Um, and something else. I think one or two things other than that. But y'all, I want some chicken. I know she made stuffed green, uh, bell peppers, green bell peppers, whatever. But you ever just want some chicken? Like, I just want some chicken. Like, not no chicken from Dave's. Like, I don't know if y'all got Dave's where y'all at. Dave's is like a Tops or like a Finance or... Dave's is like a Giant Eagle or like a Mark. So, you know how they like they have the food, hot food section? I don't want that. I want some chicken chicken. But I'll just be scared, y'all, because y'all don't know how, like, what the inside of these places be looking like. I'm just like... But I don't feel like frying no chicken at home. Because it's 70 degrees, but it's just like in my house, when you turn in that oven it's hot like it take a minute for it to cool down i would use the air fryer but it's just like i don't feel like cooking like today's sunday and i just want to chill like behind me is um what's behind me uh two bucks i used to go to that place it was out in macedonia but that club or no i take that back it was on mayfield but they got closed down i don't know why but now they got one out in parma but it's just like i just want some chicken like a couple pieces of chicken even though I be getting heartburn out with like a, a mixture of some original <laughs> and some spicy. I'll take a, hey, I ain't had chicken in a minute, so I don't know how they come. What is it? You can get a drum, a leg, a breast, a thigh, whatever. I don't know, I just want some chicken. I can let you some chicken. But I'm going to read the reviews because lately, like, I be having to read the reviews of places. So if it's under four, I'm sorry, I can't mess with it. Even if it's at a 3.9, it got to be four and above because, you know, a lot of places ain't five star. Let's just be honest. So I'm gonna try to find a chicken place near that's like four point something and up. It can't be no two, no three, no one, because that means your customer service is horrible or it's dirty. And even people, you know, places that's like in the four point can be dirty, but I'm just taking my chances. I want some chicken. I want some chicken. I want some chicken. Probably like she's being fat. I know. You know, I'm doing my little watching what I eat, y'all. But it's it's not wrong. What they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. So it's going to take some time. You know, I am changing my eating habits slowly but surely. Um, I don't drink as much because your girl could. I could drink a, a grown man under the table. And I blame my college days because, you know, I'm telling on myself. My college days, y'all, I would, we would party. And if you ever been to college, like, stayed in dorms and stuff, y'all know how it go down that's another story for another day but um yeah I, I don't drink as much well I do drink beer I drink the zero alcohol Heineken beers um I even watch that you know consumption of that because you know like yeast and stuff blows you up makes you big and I try not to you know get junk food and stuff like that I might indulge in a little slump some I got a video coming out just gonna show y'all all my uh thick girl snacks but um you know this is so good I'm just I don't want to pick out what y'all on the on the line here but this is good but um yeah I'm, I'm working progress i don't lost a pound or two as long as it still ain't going up i don't care me and my primary care physician we here so you know you know i'm working on it working on my blood pressure making sure my sodium intake is cool but i'm i'm about to i'm about to i'm about to kick it today i want some chicken I probably eat some chicken for me and my mom because my grandma, she's a vegetarian. She's been a vegetarian for years. It's crazy because I was a vegetarian and she was a meat eater. Mind you, I was like between the ages of like 15 and 17. 
15 and 17. That's when I was a vegetarian. I might be earlier than that. But when I went to college, like, when you get them dining dollars and swipes, they didn't really cater to vegetarians. Now, if I went to, well, I go to college now, but if I was in a dorm, I know they cater to vegetarians, vegans, gluten-free. Back then in 2009, they wasn't doing that. Like, they weren't as health conscious as, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me to what was being cooked like we was having nachos cheeseburgers lasagna pasta everything under the sun ice cream uh pastries i went to the university of toledo when i tell you the they were booming and then you can go to like different dorms each dorm had a cafeteria or like the um the student like center had their own cafeteria so you can go to like different dorm rooms and eat there like you know i stayed in the mm, luxury because I wanted my own bathroom. I didn't want to share. And it was like, it was me and three other roommates to one suite. Like there were, we each had to just share a bathroom. But anyway, I'll tell y'all my college experience at a later time. But yeah, y'all, I'm just working on it. But it's crazy because my grandma, she's a vegetarian. When I stopped being a vegetarian, she became one. And she's been a vegetarian since like 2009, ever since then. So no chicken for her. But I'm about to get some chicken. I want some chicken. And I don't want no chicken from no grocery store. I want some chicken, some chicken, chicken. Maybe some Popeyes. I haven't seen no KFC lately. Excuse me. I miss Church's chicken. Church's chicken used to bang. Like, y'all, when I was younger, I used to go over my nana house and she lived by Church's chicken. We used to get Church's chicken. She used to get some fried okra and they biscuits. Baby. And I think it was like a Church's chicken slash White Castle. So sometimes we would go get them White Castle burgers, fried okra and another side or if you want to go back back way back big big mr chickens i remember going to church with my grandma child we would go to church and after church it was going to mr chickens we would get a thing of chicken get some mashed potatoes and gravy and what else would we get some biscuits and did they sell like green beans we would get like See, my family, I come from a thick family, so when we're going to chicken places, we're getting like three to five sides and biscuits with extra biscuits with a combination of dark and light meat and spicy and original. But, um, yeah, y'all, I'm about to run the Dollar Tree real quick because the rain didn't slow down. So, I was really trying to sit down, you know, sit here while the rain slowed down because it was hard, like raining real hard. Go to Dollar Tree, pick up my grandma's tooth, her little two items, and I need to find me some chicken. And it's Sunday, so y'all know all the chicken places, especially like Popeyes, the lines are gonna be long. And it's crazy, y'all, because just earlier this year, I tried the Popeyes, what it was it, the chicken sandwich, because I was scared. I was like, Mom, if we try that sandwich, we're gonna probably grow a tail. We didn't grow a tail. But when I tried it, it was just like, we tried the spicy and original. It was nothing to hype up about. We was just like, we waited how long, because we didn't want to get it when it first came out, because I'm just like, something ain't right. But we waited, and That chicken sandwich was basically beefed up for no reason. I've tried the Chick-fil-A one. Honestly, Chick-fil-A is Chick-fil-A. For real, for real, they're both just like, just depends on what type of chicken you want. The best chicken is home-cooked chicken. I don't care what nobody's saying. The best chicken is home-cooked chicken. But Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, they just, to me, in my opinion, probably one just used canola oil and the other one used olive oil. And y'all know which one use olive oil. <laughs> and I'm just guessing, like, if we just comparing apples to oranges, I bet you Popeyes and them probably use whatever. And Chicken Filet probably using the good stuff. But, yeah, I'm just rambling. I'm about to go home before I, well, after I make these subscribe show. So I hope y'all like my little miniature vlog, you know. You know, I wasn't talking about nothing. But, um, here y'all, see you guys on the next video.